Astronomers Paul Butler and Stephen Vaught are part of a team that has discovered a new, potentially habitable Earth-sized planet. The planet is Gliese 581g and orbits the star Gliese 581 about 20 light-years away. The discovery is the result of an 11-year study by the Lick Carnegie Exoplanet Survey. The survey tracked to a precision of about 1.6 meters per second the tiny movements of the star which are caused by the gravitational tug from orbiting bodies like planets. The potential habitability of the planet depends on many factors. This is what we know for sure. The, the planet orbits the star at a distance where uh, it's in the so-called Goldilocks zone where uh, liquid water would be able to pool on the surface. We know the planet has got the proper mass to hold on to a nice substantial atmosphere like Earth. Um, it's given the ubiquity of water, it seems probable that this thing actually has liquid water. On the surface of the Earth, everywhere you have liquid water, you have life. The amplitude and phasing of the star's subtle gravitational reactions allow researchers to determine a planet's mass and orbital period. The planet's radius is estimated by making assumptions about its composition, and its surface gravity is calculated from its mass and radius. Astronomers can also determine the planet's equilibrium temperature, which is the balance between the energy emitted from the planet and the thermal energy received from the star. This planet is tidally locked to its star. So it keeps the same face pointing at its star all the time, just the same way that the moon keeps its same face pointing towards the Earth. It's tidally locked to the Earth. So this planet doesn't have days and nights. It, wherever you are on this planet, the, the sun is in the same position, or the star is in the same position all the time. So it keeps one side facing towards the star, and that's fairly warm, and the other side is in perpetual nighttime. Um, so if you are in the most comfortable place on this planet, which is along the, the, what we call the terminator, the line between light and dark, you basically see the star sitting on the horizon. You see an eternal sunrise or sunset, depending on whether you're an optimist or a pessimist. And because Gliese 581 is an M-dwarf star, it has a lifetime of hundreds of billions of years, much longer than the expected life of our sun. And in particular on this planet, because it orbits a star that's essentially immortal and, uh, and the surface is so extraordinarily stable, being tidally locked, uh, if life can evolve, it's going to have billions and billions of years to uh, adapt to the surface. Because only a fraction of stars within 100 light years of Earth have been examined, the relatively early detection of Gliese 581g indicates that habitable worlds may be quite common. There's only two things that go in right now to finding these habitable planets around M dwarfs, and it's measurement precision and telescope time. Uh, the, the precision just now has reached the point where we can find these things. These things are going to be very common. I mean, you have to remember, uh, it was only 15 years ago that any planets were discovered at all, and we very quickly went from zero known extrasolar planets to hundreds. We're at exactly that threshold now with finding habitable planets. This is the first one, uh, but the threshold has now been crossed, and uh, over the next 10 years, uh, I would be shocked if there weren't many tens of these things. The study appears in the Astrophysical Journal. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.